Hi guys, Nick here, and today I'm going to be doing an uh, other building review video. This one is a Lego Creator set called the Workshop, which I got from the Lego store a while back. <laughs> it's the set number is 10270, and it's got uh, 2,504 pieces. It's, it comes with there's five main figures right here. Here is a, a expert set right here. And you can see why. Right, right here you can you take out each part to see the inside of each, each part of the set. And here's the back of the set. And it comes with some interesting play features here. And it connects to the dinosaur set. That, also the police station and hotel set that I got. Right, then, now let's take a look on the inside of the set. Okay, right, so again, did the building review. Got the parts open now. It comes with a couple of his coaching books here. Bag number four. Bag number five. Bag number two. A green base plate. Another green base plate. Another uh, bag number two. Bag number seven. Bag number eight. Bag number six. A bag without a number. Bag number four. Another bag number four. Bag number one. Bag number three. Bag number five. Bag number six again. Bag number seven, again. Bag number one again. Another bag number six. Another bag number three. And finally, 
uh, of a bag number eight. Now we're going to start the build and come back and do the review. And I will see you guys in a couple seconds. And I'm back. I just finished the dog shot up here. And as always, let's start with the main videos. Then start to do the review on the entire dog shop set here. Both the house and the actual dog shop. And there was going to be me for years. First off, as we got the kid here with a little airplane, which I forgot to put the piece on here. And he's got a little scarf on with dark blue his sleeves. And a green scarf and a light blue little hat and toque. And he only uh, he also has. I uh, have other faces brushing here. And make it and look at his ways about his plane being stuck in a, in a tree forever. Next, we got a guy that looks like pretty much looking like the guy who owns a butt shop right here. He's got a red shirt on with he has light gray pants, and the kid has darker green pants right here with short legs for the kid. And the guy's got gray hair and some dark a gray a beard. And he doesn't have a secondary a face here, only the one and face. Next, we got the uh, guy who bought one of the books from the book shop. He's got a lot of flowers for the person he's interested in. And he's got a little pink flower around top there. And he has a uh, other happy face that he doesn't have his teeth showing. And he's got a lightish trans brown hair here. Next, we got a lady with dark blue pants, and the guy's got a light brown pants, and that is what I to imagine. And she's got a, a light brown jacket with a, a, some kind of gray shirt underneath. And she's got some dark hair, and she's got a dress, yeah, that same happy face, and this is. Just pretty much, Nisako's house, house set from the Ninjago house sets. And finally, we got other lady here with her dark purple her jacket and a light, light blue her t shirt underneath with light blue her pants. And dark curly hair, and she's got a tired, sleepy face on her other her side of her head. And that's it for the main figures. Now then, let's move on to the set here. And this is a modular body, and so that also means it can connect to the other modular buildings. It's like also came out throughout the three years. As you can take a piece apart and and, and put it on other have much of buildings separately. And we'll start with the house here. And it's got a sidewalk and along with the uh, uh, bookshop. And it's got a street lamp right here with some pointers as well, front but a window here. We got some stairs leading up to the door with two the transparent pieces as, as lamps. And we got 
the house number right here, 107. And we got the back of the house with a little yard with some pumpkins for Halloween maybe. And we got some stairs way up to the door that leads right into the house. And we got a little balcony right here where somebody wants to you know, be on and take a lot of the backyard and enjoying you know, the fresh air. And now let's take a look on the inside of the house. And first off, we got a bedroom here with a bed with little blankets representing the little pieces for the blankets. I got a lamp right inside there, and a little, little planter here to make the room look nice. And I got this other side here that comes out of the house separately from this piece here. Here we got but inside here, we got a hat right on the, and these little knobs with a bar right inside. Right here, and we got some um, teacups and a teapot. Uh, and there's also a newspaper in there for one of the people who wants to, want to read the paper. We got a fireplace in there, and with a little storage compartment here. Yeah, and we also got a picture of a, a sailboat on that side of the house, which is the, the window that looks right outside to the front of the house. And we got our other little punter that was in the, the corner right there. And we got some stairs that leads out right to the bedroom. And finally, we got the uh, basement of our house here. Here we got the stairs that leads up to the living room. We got Santa Claus's his toy bag right here. It was some scissors. And some kind of a sponge. And you know, something. And with two others, if they want to use a ladder to get the little toy plane. I mean, right out of the... A tree. Now right, let's put this back together and then move on to the, the bookshop side of the uh, video. Of today's video here and the entire set in general. Here, here. Yeah, it's been a little tricky here. Alright, now to the butt shop, which is the name of the set here. <laughs> Excuse me. Here we go. We got this tree right here. And there's a a little bird right there with a nest, which is, is a piece that Cold uses in the uh, World Force house and set. Right then, and right down here we got a little uh, return book shelf area for people that want to return the books once they're uh, done with the books. And we got a sign right here, which is made of I'm pretty sure some sticker pieces or just a print. This is the Butch Books. Nice right there. Here we got some windows right here at the very top of a, a bookshop right here. Anyways, let's take off the, some of the parts here to take a better look on the uh, inside of the set here. And we got a, a bedroom right on the top here with a little pet 
a lizard around the inside. We got some light blue pieces to represent the blankets. We got this little area right here for the stairs to for people to go and walk right up. And we got a little living room type of area. It was a a little a deck area for people to sit on and have a drink. And we got a clock in here with a little coffee mug and a carpet and a a lamp and, and so people can use it to hey, read books better at night. And finally, we got the main floor of the set here. We got a little area for the, the book shop on the guy. And so you can hey, get people to buy the books. On this side, we got had some books on a shelf here, which is just random pieces to make it look like books. And we got stairs that leads up to the living room type of area that leads up to the, the bedroom. And this is just a standard roof area here. And now that I put these back <laughs> together so I can finish off today's his building review video right here and, and stuff. And this will be good for, for your Lego City setup or some kind of his Lego theme park setup where because the page shows some butt shops in in a, a Disney a theme park in downtown Disney or something. And that'll be it for today's his Lego building review video. Like, comment and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell if you new. And more videos are coming out soon. And I will see you guys in my next video. And peace.